How's it going, everyone? Today we're playing Fallen Stars. Uh, it's a VR game, sit in space, which I imagine is going to be somewhat terrifying. But I do like the idea of jumping around in zero G. So let's get into it and see what it's like. <sighs> it's been a long day. I need to review some clips before bed. I need to get to my computer. This isn't space. Oh, I need to get to my computer. Oh, movement's a little wonky. Let me have a look around first. I need to get to my computer. Can't pick up the wine, goddammit. A lovely house. I need to get to my computer. All right, all right, we'll go to the computer. I need to get to my computer. Oh, hello. For several months, cosmonauts had undergone numerous vigorous training, including those that were conducted underwater. And truth be told, they were harsh. But they will be rewarded something far greater if they can endure the training. Thomas William remembered when he was having a stroll inside the station before his regular training, and saw the space launcher being built, the one that he will be riding in. An unexplained feeling of gratitude silently welled up inside him as he hurried to his training spot. He was not the only one in the space program, and he had other crewmates too, Rogan Richard and Bobby Miller. They quickly became his best friends, where they could joke around and laugh like idiots for hours on end, and his finest comrades where they could endure hardship or rely on each other to cover each other's backs. At long last, the day had arrived. The commencement of his grand mission. The people at the station were meticulously making the final checkup to ensure the launch will be a success. Three, two, one. Launch. The sudden jolt from the spaceship activating and rocketing towards the space had pulled him back from his reminiscence of his journey from when he first stepped into the station. Staring at the serene blue planet projecting on the monitor had him realize that he was already in space, and another glance at the other monitor showed him the space station he was destined towards. And now from here, his journey had truly begun. Yeah, it makes a fantastic cinema. Oh my Welcome god. Welcome to ICES. We're pleased to have you aboard. If there are any problems, please inform us. We are always there to help you. Have a nice sleep, Tom. You've been resting there since docking. Stop playing around. There are several tasks we need to complete during our time here. Calling from 406 Theta Gamma. Dear Cosmonaut, you'll be notified about what to do when you enter the correct module. Operations are gated around each other, so make sure to check the area you already explore. Instructions at each operation will only be set once. So please listen carefully. Oh no. Good luck, cosmonaut. Gabby. Oh my god, this is so cool. What? Oh. Obviously I can't say how accurate it is, but it I did a tutorial before and you really do get the sense like you know constantly reaching out to grab for the nearest surface because you can't orient yourself any other way well let's have a look through here oh can't grab that I'm also trying not to I'm standing but I'm trying not to move my feet so that I do get that experience of having to reach out hmm nothing over here oh I think that is the space toilet 
Lovely. The attention to detail is pretty fantastic. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. <laughs> you can clip through the roof and and then you're in uh in space. Let's say a big no thank you to that. What's down this way? I doubt that there's this much stuff left floating around in the actual space station. I'm fixing the solar panel. Tom, can you help to adjust the yellow frequency to match with the red frequency so that the communication system can be restored? Sounds like something I can do. Oh, I've got them pretty close. Ooh. Okay, I think that's matching. He hasn't said anything, so I'm just assuming that that's right. Let's see what happens if we go to another area. Mm, nothing over here. I think this is a treadmill. It's weird, but you can't, because it's in space, right, with zero G. Orientation doesn't mean the same thing. You know, it doesn't have to be mounted on the floor because you strap into it. Nice. The communication system has been restored. Seems like one of the energy capsules has appeared near you. Might be handy later on. Hmm. Okay. Do I get to know what it does? Oh. Um. Oh. Can I stow it somewhere? I guess I'll carry it with me. Whoa. I wonder if this energy pod thing goes in here. Hey. Alright, looks like I need two more. Trying to find one of the other tasks. What is this? Oh, this is a, an exercise bike. There's the pedals. Yeah, that's interesting. But that must swing out when you um when you actually want to do the exercise. Interesting. Many unbearable hours later. Oh my god. How have I never seen this section before? I've been floating around for like 20 minutes. I had noticed this section up here. Oh. Hey, what? aren't just boring here. I'd prepared a puzzle for you all in your own room. Please solve the puzzle. It's in order, I swear. 
<laughs> All right, man. Oh, uh, this is I've genuinely I've been looking for this for so long, and I am so angry right now. Wow! Look at that picture. I'm a genius. Look at solving puzzles. There's... Right. I think I understand what you do with these power cells. There's a color uh, sequence in one of the other rooms. I think it's showing you which order you put the power cells in. Uh, ignore the walkie-talkie and the roll of tape in here. I was just experimenting earlier. Oh, no! You go there! Uh, uh. You go there. And we need one last red cell to go in here. So I assume now that we've finally found that room that I couldn't find for like 20 minutes, uh, one of these other rooms will give us a mission. Not in here. That's the um, color palette that I was talking about before, by the way. Ooh. That wasn't in there before. What is this? Calling from 406, Beta Gamma. Thomas William, please adjust the placement of wire connection from four of the corners to restore the electricity. Oh yeah, this is classic game mechanics. Uh... Whoop, I'm floating a bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Good job. Tom, now collect all the energy capsules and bring them to the main hallway. You'll see a container that holds those three capsules. We need it to restore the power of the spacecraft. I feel like that's something that you tell me ahead of time, like, hey, Tom. We're low on power. We're gonna need to fix this. Not like have me solve a bunch of puzzles and then tell me. One of which was just an actual puzzle. Whoop, 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 whoop. Floating all over the place. Whoa. Good job. Our yes. spacecraft is ready to take off. Calling from SEAM 11. We'll see you back on Earth. I win. Calling from SCAM 11. Preparation for undocking. Oh, this is unsettling. Captain Rock speaking. All set and ready on dock. Oh my god. Preparing to re-enter Earth. That window number. looks like it's open. Uh -oh. Oxygen valve malfunction. Oh, Oxygen shit. Oxygen valve malfunction. Tom, the valve. <coughs> it's just... It's like... <coughs> manually... <coughs> close it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please. 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 How do I fix it? Their first mission had been accomplished wonderfully and thus began their journey back home. The space capsule housing all of the crewmates slowly detached from the space station as per the procedure and will be sent towards the Earth. When the capsule entered the atmosphere, it started to burn brightly, as bright as a burning star, as it came hurtling down towards the ground like a meteor. That's not good. It spun wildly during its descent, making it harder for the people at the station to pinpoint its exact point of impact. Finally, it slowed down, and a parachute was released to further ease its impact. The space capsule recovery team received orders and started to move steadily towards the calculated location, both by air and by land. As the recovery team was watching the capsule reach the ground, it crashed with such impact mm -hmm. that sent large clouds of dirt up into the sky. And at the same time, 
it sent a wave of unease and uncertainty that washed through everyone in the recovery team. A bit. Rushing towards the space capsule, the recovery team did not sense or see any signs of activity, and upon opening the hatch, what greeted them was a scene that nobody had ever seen before. All the crews were still strapped to their seats, motionless, with dark blue patches on their face, and streams of blood trickling out of their ears Ooh. and noses. They hurriedly removed the crews to the outside and attempted to bring them back to life, although Thomas was still warm, but to no avail. Wow. That is a pretty sad ending. Well, wow, that was really cool. Um, it was not exactly challenging in terms of like puzzles, but I don't think that's the point. You know, it's it's more of an experience with a little bit of uh, interactivity thrown in. Obviously, there's some there's some polish that could be applied. From what I was reading, this was a challenge. This is part of a challenge to make a game, a VR game, in three months. And given that, with four people working on it, I think, uh, they did a spectacular job. It was really cool to uh, float around in zero G and just, you know, be able to toss things around in zero G. I imagine if it was on the outside of the spaceship, it would have been, it would have been um, absolutely terrifying. But I think there are some other games that do that pretty well, so might give them a go at some point. Either way, this is really impressive and I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching and have a good one.